I don't want a bloodline thing with Jedis. I don't think it's fair that only in a certain... It's like being a king and only your son can be the next king. I don't feel like that's a fair thing to do for a movie. Isn't isn't the point of these movies about, like, taking control of your destiny and, and about, like, shaping your own? So if you're predetermined something, I just don't want your parents to be anyone important. I, I honestly, I love the thing in The Last Jedi and I am prepared for you, Internet. It's, it, I, I'm talking positively about The Last Jedi here. I think it was great that they made her an actual underdog. They made her some Someone that earned her skill and you can be anyone can be a Jedi I love that message like anyone can wear the mask I like that the kid at the end of the last Jedi like summoned the thing and I, I, I just want that to be the magic of Star Wars and I really hope that it's not another story where it ties itself up with a nice little bow and she was fated for something I don't want her parents to be anyone important because then you lose all mystery and and it, it kind of gives the wrong message to kids like it, you're not the sum of your parents like you can be anything grow beyond your parents be bigger better bolder i just I, i'm afraid because especially since it's tying to the force awakens that it's going to be jj a movie ignored jj <laughs> <laughs> I'm hopeful that's not going to I like be the that. case. No, I, I was actually I was actually thinking about this because a long time ago I played this improv game with my I, my girlfriend and she's like, hey, you write a story, then I'll continue the story and then you continue my story. I'm like, cool. And when I got it back, I'm like, no, I don't like what you did. I'm going to take it back <laughs> towards my story. And I feel like that's what's happening here. I want to piggyback on what you said. I like the idea of getting away from the Skywalker bloodline. That was my same issue with Terminator. It's like we keep following the same people over and over again. How about we explore? It's a rich universe. There's yeah. so much to explore here. Let's see something else. So, and I feel like there's no satisfying conclusion that the movie can give us, no matter really? who his parents are. Oh like, wow! If it's if it's Luke, if it's whoever, like who, who who would you really be satisfied by? So I don't necessarily know if everybody in the world, every Star Wars fan, can have a satisfying conclusion. Because if I've learned anything from being on the internet often, it's that <laughs> there are many opinions out there, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. What I do think that they are going to wind up doing with Ray's parents is not necessarily leaving it at what Kylo said to Ray in the last movie, which is that her parents are filthy junk traders who sold you off for drinking money. They're dead in a pauper's grave in the Jakku Desert. I think he was lying. I think he was trying to manipulate her. It's something Peter had in his article as well. I think that's the case there. I do think there is something very beautiful in the idea of her being a nobody and her being able to shape her own destiny, but I just get this feeling that what J.J. might have done here is found a combination of that, but also tying in not necessarily the Skywalker bloodline, but what the Skywalkers stand for, where what's said at the very beginning of the trailer, everything that's in her that she's learned from the generations that have come before is going to form some sort of new, you know, uh, a new Jedi order with Skywalker at its core, with those pillars at its core. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm leaning towards more so, any, more so than anything at this point. Can I digress just a little yes. bit? You said that you feel like she earned it. And yeah. I disagree with that. Okay. I want to know why you think she earned it because it's to me, she just like got the power sort of met. Like you watched Luke earn it, even mm -hmm. though it's in his bloodline. Like you watched him go through the process of becoming a Jedi. But by the end of Force Awakens, she was like wielding the Force and able to battle Kylo Ren. You know? I, I definitely think there are issues with how powerful she gets, how quickly, and, and those are issues. But I think that it's a message that kids need to see that you can have abilities that you're not born with. Gotcha. Uh, so earning it more in the in the broader sense of she earns these things instead of just being born with them. So right. whether or not I agree with her going Super Saiyan in one episode <laughs> is a different story. <laughs> right. But the right. fact that she goes from zero to 60 isn't the problem. It's the fact that she can only go from zero to zero if she doesn't have a bloodline or 60 to 60 if she doesn't have the bloodline. Right. Like that's that's my issue. So earning it however, however she does, I just think that it should be something that we aspire to greatness, not we're born great. Right. And I also I worry that The Last Jedi did so much about like the movie was about destroying your idols so you could be better and the movie was about not believing in every story you've ever heard and all these things that are very important especially for internet culture and then they have the emperor laugh at the end of the trailer yeah. like they're like we left all this behind but what if everything is back it's like we get it i love nostalgia stranger <laughs> things is the shit but why can't we grow and like i'm i this is just me dying on the internet goodbye well, all my no, followers we, yeah. see, i like i like everything you you're can, saying you can have the best of both worlds i think you can grow but you can also 
learn from the past because that's also a concept that The Last Jedi wrestled with. You've got one character who's like, get rid of the past, burn it. And then you have someone else saying, we need to learn from our mistakes before and grow from them. And I think there's some sort of beautiful mix that could happen here. Bringing up the Emperor's laugh at the end, that is another theory that Slash Film did entertain and I see circulating the internet as it has been for a while now actually that she could possibly be in that bloodline as well and if we're not talking about blood maybe even her being some sort of creation of the emperor do you guys have any take on that no but i i mean the idea of her parents being junk junkies or whatever it is like it's possible that they were just used mm -hmm. and she is related but like they were junkies but really they were just you know people who were standing in for someone else. Right. Junk, said, traders. junk traders. <laughs> junk traders. spotting. Might junk something. Two different things here. <laughs> Ewan, Ewan, Ewan McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's in the yeah, franchise. Yeah, all together. <laughs> exactly. No, but like, they could have been paid off. You know, like Breaking Bad when... Uh, <laughs> You know, you had a Walter White hiring those guys in oh, the bushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you just it, just hire someone just to be pose as her parents to put her there. You know, so then oh, like Game of Thrones is a better example. Uh, the King's Son. You it's know. like in the '90s when Spider-Man, his parents the whole time like died, and then his aunt and uncle took him in, and the uncle like it was great power, great responsibility. And then at some point they were like, "But his parents were actually Shield agents," and I was like, yeah. "Why?" Right. Peter Parker's parents <laughs> be Shield? Like it's giving plot to something that doesn't necessarily need it. And yeah. I also, I, I really. Uh, I'm excited for this because I trust J.J. Abrams so completely. So all the negatives I said about nostalgia being what they're resting on, I completely think if anyone can shape a story that does appeal to both, like learning from your history but also having a new future, it's J.J. That man made Mitch Impossible 3. He made the entire, like what worlds he builds are incredible. So I believe in him. And if anyone can do it, it's him. And I don't think he'll be selfish enough to completely ignore 8. I just worry that the trailer was going, look at us. Yeah.